Because that's our commercial break so yeah please cue every time um um i'd like to thank first of all each and every one of you for coming i'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming it means beyond of beyond words um you being here for us and standing with us through this time. I want to thank God. We should have even been the first that we get to celebrate Daddy's life. It could be worse. You may not have been even given the chance. But we are here and we are celebrating a life that was fully, fully lived. As so many people have said, <coughs> that it was so many things. So, so many things. And on top of that, he was a father. A father to your fatherless and a father to us. He still had time even for us. saying, Daddy, I think I should start, start with oh. Thanks. Um, yes. I think let me first build strength for Daddy. I want to thank um, the, the doctors. Let me start with the doctors. Um, Dr. Omoding, you hold a very special place in this family. The night Dr. Omodin came at 3 a.m. and was here till morning to be with Daddy to help Daddy to make sure Daddy was okay. He was the reason that, okay, it was God, but through him, Daddy was able to also enjoy. As you've heard, we found out, oh, it was confirmed three years ago but he was able to attend all these functions. He was able to attend, um, to go and do his work, go home, visit people, see people, because he was in very good hands and very good doctor. Thank you so much, Dr. Omadi. Um, I would like to thank the, our bigger family that's not here. Our aunties, our uncles that encouraged Daddy, Uncle Enos, Uncle Eli, Uncle Ezekiel, Daddy's friends. He really, 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 he really talked about you. He loved you so much. And <laughs> towards, towards the end, uh, he kept on asking, do you know my 20 good friends? And we kept on telling him, but Daddy, they can't only be 20 because it's the whole world. Today it's this one, tomorrow it's this one, tomorrow it's that. But he loved each and every one of you. I can't mention all their names, but thank you so much for being such um, a good good support system for him in his good and his bad time. I also want to thank, I'll start with the in-laws, in loves, we call them in loves, they became one of us. They may not be here, but they are really part of us children. Um, thank you so much. You know yourself. I am not going to go down into mentioning names, Uncle, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uncle D, Rowan, Sheila, Terry, thank you so, so much for being part of the family. Daddy loved you and you loved him back. You don't take that for granted. 
Um, I want to thank my siblings. Guys, thank you so much for loving Daddy. And he's, um, and as he said that we didn't thank him when he was here, we thanked him. Each and every one of us thanked him when he was here. There is no doubt about that. So thank you guys for loving Daddy as much as he loved us. He loved us too much, but we loved him back, definitely. Um, right before I talk about money, there's something I wanted to talk about. This was when we were in the hospital in Nairobi, when we were praying for him, one of the things that we were convicted about was to seek forgiveness on his behalf. So to ask God to forgive him of everything and that he did knowingly or unknowingly that was wrong and just seek forgiveness so that he is on a clean slate. And I also wanted not to only do it with God but with everyone here. In case that he wronged you in a way Please forgive him. He forgave you. If you also wronged him, he forgave you. He forgave you, he forgave you. He talked about forgiveness so much towards the end. And I don't know for people who went for functions that he was at, he talked about how he even forgave a mosquito. So, <clears throat> if he can forgive a mosquito, how much more a human being? Yeah? So, kindly take this apology from us on behalf of Daddy and also receive forgiveness on behalf of Daddy. Okay, um, mommy, mommy, daddy loves you. He loves you so much. He hung on your toe, honey. Yeah. He even gave you his own special name. That's how much he loved you. And that love is not going anywhere. You've been given how many? A thousand for one. We may not be the same, but we will do our level best to love you and stand with you and support you and encourage you and pamper you and do for everything, everything and more. We love you so much, Mommy. Thank you for keeping your vows that you made before God and made before Daddy. You, I feel like you've even gone beyond, and God is going to abundantly bless you and reward you for that. Mommy, we love you. Okay. Now, Daddy. I know they've talked about um, all the beautiful aspects of Daddy and how he was sometimes not simple. But for me, recently I looked at it and I said that simple was, that um, not being simple was just because he was so passionate. He was passionate about the things that he loved all the things that he thought about. Daddy was such a philosopher that every morning there is a new philosophy. So you see life now. Every morning. What have you thought about today? Now let me tell you what I think about. And it goes on for like 30 minutes. So if you're late, you might as well count an hour after. Because Daddy would give you an example or just a new idea. And like Brenda said, he gave birth to another Daddy over here. So if you want to know Daddy, you'll also meet him too, Daudi. Daudi is also a philosopher like that. Um, even with that said, actually, Daddy is alive in each and every one of us here. And even you, because he left something. If it wasn't blood, it was an idea. If it wasn't an idea, it was faith. If it wasn't faith, it was a, it was a story. It was patriotism. It was loving 
the nature, loving, like all the things he loved and shared, he has left in each and every one of us. Like he always said, his three words are values, sharing, things, values, and sharing. And he did all three. He had things, and he shared them. He had values, he also shared them. And so they're in each and every one of us here. So it is, he's going to live on. He is going to live on. May we take each and everything that he, we admired about him, he imprinted on us, and live it on. Okay, now, um, let me say a little bit about my relationship with Daddy. Um, <laughs> oh, Thank you very much. So, um, Daddy, my relationship with Daddy, I was, I am, excuse me, I am Daddy's last girl. And so some, so many people thought I was the last born, but I am not. Um, Jeremiah had to go to the village, but he will be back. And I think because of that, I can't sit some longer. Um, and I think sometimes it also went overboard. Because at times I felt like Daddy just wanted to see me as a flower vase in the house. I know it's okay. He would ask at night, and I'm like, but Daddy, I can't sit at home and just look. Me not to have a conversation with me, not to, just for me to be home. And it used to rub me off the wrong way. Then I realized it was all love. And he did that for each and every one of us as well. We all have unique relationships with Daddy. No one can say, ah, I don't know, how can I remember that? If they are to all share memories, if they are going to share memories, they will all be very unique. So, me and Daddy are very alike. Um, to go down to, to town home journey, to Yaraifu. Um, and and one of those things he say, Konki way, every wedding that is there for you, you go, and I. Learned, then I learned a saying in the Nyankoro. Ejuka is a revoruga. And after I learned that saying, oh, every time he'd ask me, I said, Ejuka is a revoruga. So if you think for you, you went for weddings. Now you wait for me. Because I will also attend just like you have. I also have as very many friends just like you have. And yeah. That is who that, that was our relationship. The last day, I got to spend Father's Day with him, the last Father's Day with him on the 19th of June, 2022. I put him in my car, he died, I drove daddy. I put a soldier in a small car, and I, he, I drove him to a restaurant, and we sat down and talked. And talked about so many things, conversations I am thankful for that I had. Um, I remember I I told him um, things that were really in my heart because growing up, me and Daddy were very, very close. And then I think when I became a bit older, he became a bit too tough. And then I said, uh, but that day we talked about certain things that I think had affected, that had affected our relationship. 
And I wanted to share it not only with my siblings, but with everyone here. Um, and it was one of the things that I told him about was anger. And it was something that had rid him of so much. And when I told him about it, he was actually shocked. <laughs> and he's like, I thought I was so easy. I said, Daddy, easy? How? Like, you know how it reaches a point, and because he's such a military man, when it's here, like they've been saying, it is here. Try and fail, but never fail to try. That was daddy. And so it started building here. So I told him about it, and he said, you know, it's only people that, like, that are with, like, friends or see you or know you that can tell you these things and you realize. And he was so thankful for it. And he promised to, to be better. And he really was. He really was. It's not something that was going to change in a snap of a finger, but he was more intentional in, yes, letting go and letting God and catching himself. When he's about to, he's like, let me pour water on, some fire, on this fire. And it, it really enhanced very many relationships. It also enhanced his relationship with mommy. Um, and yeah, it was really something that we thank God for. Yeah. Yeah. Let me allow my siblings to say something. But daddy, we love you. We always will. You are here to stay in us. And we are going to make you so proud. Come and see me. Praise God. <sighs> it's hard to believe that we are standing here talking about that. It's like a bad dream that we are going to wake up from. <sighs> okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, my name is Shiba Mama, and I'm going to hang up longer. I want my girl to get that girl I'm here. I thank God so much for the life that He gave Daddy. I personally believe, and I told him that Daddy, you have lived a life of, you've lived a long life of riches and honor, like the Bible says, because you are a righteous man. Daddy, God gave him everything. You've seen videos circulating of him saying, God gave me everything I asked him for. Daddy always used to tell us, even on his brokest days, when you would go to him and ask him for money, he would tell you, I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> ah, he gave himself to each and every one of us. I personally admire Daddy so much for his brave character. Um, how he always used to tell us he was ready to die and he would make fun of us being scared of death, especially me and Mommy. I can't that. Me? You're tired anytime. I don't know God forbid. And he always said that, not just now. Uh, my daddy unconditionally. Then his grandkids, he would just become a nuisance. <laughs> he loved them so much and they love him too. And some of them don't understand right now, but it's a lot. He loved mommy, like Edna said, we all knew. Daddy loved his country. He loved God, very sincerely. Um, ah, everything that daddy did, he did exceedingly. Like, he would outperform himself at everything. <laughs> With a sister of mine, 
Sure, he yeah, likes calling him my Valentine. But that's because he loved us so much that he set the standard of love for all of us. That <laughs> we couldn't be loved any less because he loved us, right? Uh, he supported us so much. No more shows, they too. No more, no more rooms and no more. I remember there was a day in high school in particular, they called daddy to school because my brother had written on a wall and it was illegal. And they defended him and said, Mom, I look at the painting. I see when I paint him, but it's, it's, it's art. <laughs> like, he would defend you. And then Akhtar was Rakhana. Kunkaya Helze could defend him, Gomi Shogaman. That it was so much fun. Fun, a very fun man. You've seen his videos of him dancing in this compound that are going viral. That was dead on a normal day. You know, he was so humorous. He would try to catch up with the trends, even of our age. Dad would say, hi, hi. He was just so funny. Ah, he loved music. We had that in common. Eh, he would wake up one morning and say, "Now, Shiba, we're going to compose a song." Then I'm poor and I can't remember the study. I'm a teacher. My God, and I would wonder, "Grant, follow me." And then we would sing his malaria songs with him, and, <laughs> and we would laugh. But my God, we don't take those moments for granted. It's because he was just so much fun. He was fun to be around. Our children enjoyed him. We enjoyed him. Oh, we really give glory to God for that. Um, I thank God for giving us an opportunity as a family to nurse him. I don't take it for granted. I thank God that we got an opportunity to see him, even in that state where he did want us to see him. In Nishka in particular, when I went to see him in Mulago, the moment I went through the door, he said, Hata <laughs> Because he knew I used to fear. And he would tell me, Shiba, I'm fine, I'm fine. No one's a community in Nairobi. He could not speak at that time. But he just held my hand and squeezed it. And I knew he was telling me, like, look, girl, I know you, be strong, you know. And we got to pour our hearts to him, and he could hear us, and he would cry, actually. We would see him tearing when we are talking to him. I thank God for giving us that moment. Now my weak spot, mommy. I love the mommy could not touch me. I think I won't change to a cocoa, my cocoa. Only we're with you. Hey, next cousin. Like I told Daddy, I remember one day, Daddy can't feel it in one of these last days in Nairobi. So when they had just resuscitated him and he had got back to his consciousness, I told him, Daddy, don't give up. Fight, you're a fighter, you're a fighter, fight on. Wait for mommy, she's coming. I told him, don't go before she comes. My name is Queen, because in the we are with you in death, we are with you in life, we are here. As a day, mommy, Queen, we are with you. We're going to love you and be with you unconditionally. Thank you for everything that you did for Daddy, the sleepless nights. Now and got a jacket on I thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. Sleep well, Daddy. You're an angel, glorious one, without a shadow of a doubt. We know that you're in heaven. Enjoy those wings because you've earned them. <laughs> I love you so much. Uh, 
My name is Nzanga Mark Tumwine. Now, my name is Nyanko, I have a saying. You speak Koko Shtam, Nei Emerei. Koko Emerei Gamba Yeshtam. Bueno. No, I have a few things to say. One, uh, Daddy, Daddy, I had a moment I was with one of my other brother, uh, cousin brother, he's called Timothy. So, why is it here at Catherine Shemiro? Akajiri Sati, Ekeru, those who know Mr. Joker. So, the, the shirt had, why so serious? So, he asked him, what are you putting on? So, Timothy told him he's called Mr. Joker, and he was like, what does he do? You know, He's a person who wants to, who liked more about discovering, knowing about something new. So he asked him, what, what do you like about him? So Timothy told him his quotes, his movies. So immediately he went to Google. He Googled Mr. Joker. So the first quote he read, it was like, life fucks everyone not until it's your turn. That was the first quote that he wrote. He read. He, he, he told uh, he told us, you know, in life, life is all about what you make it. If you decide to take a route that me, my mentor, my the person I follow, my role model, is Mr. Joker, then these are the words you'll be saying. But me, my mentor, when he told me that, I remember that my role model is him. My mentor was him, he was my Afandi, he was my commander. And one of the things that I will never forget, I used to love him whenever he was in his combat. He was one of the smartest. I think one of the army officers who, who, who can try to to keep up his smartness is general corrector, but the rest he beats them up. <laughs> Let it be the president himself. That... <laughs> That's what I liked about Daddy. Uh, I didn't have enough time, you know, books. Uh, the only time is maybe two weeks. So, me, what hurts me most is that the last time I was with Daddy, has a calculation where we were done with exams but they wanted to extend for some for some time to study holidays. So we told him, there are no students in school. He was like, so you want to go home? We're like, yeah. I said, okay, come. So day one, day two, on the third day, we were supposed to travel to the village because we don't normally stay here. So we delayed to wake up. On, by the time we reached here, he was already harsh. We didn't even greet him. We didn't say anything. Kwatezawe, kwatezawe. Ah, Fom, can she daddy? Ah, ah, no. Go. Ask to ashre you I called him. He was like, I will call you. Can you tell you? So it took a week. After a week, you know, phonics, phonics. You know, yaga retri. Na uka kwa gari yaga 20 years back. So by the time he's admitted that in Akasewa. Hati, I called him, he didn't pick up. I tried to call Daudi, he didn't pick up. I never got in touch with him. The next time I had, was lifted to my head.
So, we are going to go to Kurgomba Gayagin Seji, the last moments were bad. God knows everything. Okay, that is now Kurika. Rest in peace. I shall forever see. Even the little time that he had 